Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a magical day so far. Today's video is a follow-on from a video that I did last year, which was my Pixar Blu-ray collection. So today I am bringing you the Disney classics on Blu-ray. So I really hope that you enjoy the video. Also, if you're new here, then welcome. Thank you so much for joining. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. Anyways, there's a few little things that I would like to say just before we get into the video. Number one, I will show you first of all how I display them all behind me. Number two, I will show you them one by one. I'm, I'm going to try and go as quickly as possible. Um, and at number three, there are a few of them which were never released on Blu-ray. So I have five. Yep five on DVD. So as I go through I will fill in the blanks and also there's a couple of double edition Blu-rays in there as well so I will show you those and explain as we get to them. Also if you weren't aware the Disney Classics runs from numbers 1 through 56. I have 1 to 55. The reason I do not own number 56 which is Ralph Breaks the Internet is purely because it does not have the shiny cover that all the rest of them have. As soon as it comes out I will of course add it to my collection. So I think that's everything so let's get into the video guys. So first up just like I said is how I display them. As you can see they are in groups of 10. The numbers don't really match because as I did say the DVDs kind of ruin things um, because they just don't fit in the space. So they are still in number order. Let's move further down I have some Tsum Tsums mixed in as you can see. I think one of my favourite sections is this one here with all the glare, the renaissance. Also, if it's a little bit shaky, I do apologise. I then have my little chip mug section. Moving down 37 to 46, the wild is terrible. And then here we go, 47 to 55, Wreck-It Ralph, or Ralph Breaks the Internet, should I say. We'll go where the Tinkerbell movie does on the far right. And just to the right of that is the ones that fill in the gaps. So 6, 7, 8 and 10 and then 25 the Black Cauldron as well. These ones obviously are not part of it but these five here are. One final little thing before we get properly started is I'm gonna do them in five bundles of 11 because I have 55 and that just makes more sense to do it that way. But also I'm gonna explain how I'm actually gonna show you them. So I will use number one, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as an example. So as you can see, they all come in this gorgeous shiny slipcover. The colors all vary by the way, they're not all blue. It will say Disney Classics number one, and well, the number of the movie along the top. Along the spine, we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs again. You normally always have the same image from the front of the cover on the top corner as well. The back of the slipcover will also mimic the actual Blu-ray itself, which it does. The main cover always varies. And another thing I noticed was the disc itself matches the slipcover. So that is how they work. Also, these are called O-rings. If anybody knows why, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea. Next up, Pinocchio. So this is again a blue cover. I think this cover is so cute. I think this Pinocchio looks a little bit crazy. Again, the spine with the name and then the back matches. Lovely. Number three is Fantasia. This one I have still never seen yet um, because as you can see, it's in plastic. There's your front cover for Fantasia. The back again does match the cover. And then the spine. Number four. Yep, Dumbo. <laughs> Thought I had those in the wrong order. Number four, Dumbo. Love this colour of purple. He looks absolutely adorable. Front cover. Looks like this. With little Timothy Mouse on the bottom. And then the back. Again, matches. I've got the Casey Jr. train there. And then the spine right here. Again, as you can see, it is the same image from the front. Number five, Bambi. Oh, Bambi's poor mum. He looks so cute. Bambi's a boy, by the way. I hear so many people saying, Bambi's a girl. No, Bambi's a boy. Bambi's a boy. 
cover. Lovely. You've got all the characters there. Is that his dad? Yep, that's Bambi's dad. You've got Flower, Thumper. Yeah, Flower and Thumper. The back and the mix, as you can see. And then the spine. Number six, this is where we get into DVD territory for six, seven, eight, and 10. We have Saludos Amigos. I am not gonna lie, folks. I've tried watching some of these ones and I just can't sit through them. I don't know what it is. I just can't. I've really, really tried. I just can't, so I do apologize. The Three Caballeros. There we go. Donald is one of the Three Caballeros, by the way. Um, I cannot remember which one this is. It's either Joe or Jose. I think this one's Jose. Probably not. Probably got it completely wrong. Um, and the Spine for you. Number eight, Make My Music. Haven't attempted to watch this one, so hi, maybe this will be the one I finish. Um, this one actually matches the... Oh, this matches. The back does too. And the spine. But anyways, here we have 9 and 11. Number 9 is Fun and Fancy Free and 11 is The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. This matches um, the front and it matches the back as well. And then the spine has both movies on here. And it does have nine up and then 11 down the bottom. I apologize for the car alarm going off in the background. Oh, now there's a car leaving. And number 10, um, Melody Time. Um, haven't attempted to watch this one. Don't know why. Oh, this one matches too. As you can see, some of the DVD ones do actually match, but I'm pretty sure the rest do not. Um, and there you go. So next up, 12, Cinderella. So here she is. Blu-ray cover and the back. And then obviously just the spine. The spine's always pretty much matched. The, the way that they, the font they use is always the same, so that's never gonna change. Then we have Alice in Wonderland. I do not personally get the Alice in Wonderland hype. You've then got the back, which of course matches. And then you've got the normal cover. This cover is really cute though, to be fair. And then there you go, Alice in Wonderland. 14, Peter Pan. I do love this movie, but he looks terrifying. Especially when you compare him to the one in the back who looks completely different. Oh, this cover is different. Um, they've actually used the same sort of like thumbnail -y images just in different places and the text is the same. So strange, but I like the addition of Peter Pan here. And then you've got him on the front. Love this one. There you go. Oh, the glare is bad. <laughs> 15, Lady and the Tramp. There's the lady, she looks gorgeous. The spine for you. And then we've got the back cover. Oh, this one's a little bit different. Oh. Just a little bit, just a little bit. You can see that you've got a couple of, these are like the extras. And then on the actual slip cover itself, there's a third one that they've put on here as well. So that's really cute. I like that they've got Tramp on here too, though. And then the normal cover is, of course, the iconic spaghetti scene. 16, Sleeping Beauty. I love the artwork in Sleeping Beauty. I think that the animation is incredible. The music throughout is also fantastic as well. The back cover... I just want to point out I've been completely wrong about them all matching the backs being the same because I've been wrong about that one. And then I love this cover here, how you've got the complete opposites. You've got the dark side for Maleficent and then you've got um, Briar Rose slash Aurora on that side with the three fairies. And then the spine. 17, 
101 Dalmatians. Love Cruella DeVille. She's fabulous, darling. There you go. There she is there on the front. The back of this one matches. And then the spine. 18, The Sword in the Stone. Wasn't a major fan of this one. I did like Madame Mim, I think that's what she's called. Didn't like this little boy here. He was annoying. But the wizard, but, uh, Merlin was cool, and so was Archimedes. Archimedes was funny. Oh, the back of this matches. And then the spine. 19, The Jungle Book. My mum thought this was my favourite movie when I was younger. I'm not entirely sure why. I've got Mowgli on the front here. All of them here. I really like Baloo. I think Baloo's my favourite. Although I do like Shere Khan as well. I do have a thing for the villains now I've grown up. The back of this matches. And then the spine. The Aristocats. Duchess. A really fun image. I really like the artwork on the Blu-ray. The actual Blu-rays. This matches here. And then the spine. 21. Robin Hood. I'm sorry guys, I do not get the Robin Hood hype at all. I didn't overly enjoy it. My favourite character was Sir Hiss, the snake, because he was funny. Cover, again, just another really great image, really great artwork. The back, again, matches. And then the spine. And finally, from the second batch, we have the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. How can anybody not enjoy the Winnie the Pooh characters? is beyond me. Oh, this matches the front cover. And those match as well. And then you've got the spine. Third batch of 11, we have the Rescuers, number 23. Oh, very, very similar. They've just added on the crazy lady on the bottom. She was funny as hell. <laughs> I really liked her. Back cover matches, and then, oh, that is the wrong side. The spine. 24, the fox and the hound. Oh, my Lord. Todd here reminds me of my cat, Oliver. Love it so much. Haven't watched this one in a while either. Back matches, and then the spine. Oh, the glare. 25, this one's a DVD, The Black Cauldron. I don't know why this one's on DVD, to be honest. I've watched it, I have. Um, not the, not this particular DVD. Um, they've taken the dude off the front. Can't remember what he's called. What's he called? Taron? Taron. Can't remember that. Shows how memorable the movie was to me. Back cover matches and then the spine. So that was that one. 26, Basil. Really enjoyed this one when I watched it. This is the same. And then you've got the back. There we go. Next up we have Oliver and Company. My cat was kind of named after him. Um, really cute little movie. Dodger's really funny, as are all the other dogs in the movie. What's that one? The Little Mermaid. This was the start of the Renaissance, really, was The Little Mermaid, number 28. Just taken an image from that cover. The back matches, and then there we have that. This one is, this is a strange one. They did a double Blu-ray set of this, where you have the rescuers, which I just showed you, with the rescuers down under. So, to me, if you've already released this, why didn't you just release The Rescuers Down Under on its own? It doesn't make sense to me. But I had to buy the double set to get The Rescuers Down Under, which is an awful, awful movie. It's so bad. Number 30, my all-time favorite, Beauty and the Beast. Love that cover. The back matches, and then you've got the spine. Aladdin. So much Aladdin hype at the moment with the live action movie. Have not seen it. If you have, please let me know what you thought about it down below. And then the spine. Some of these spines are faded actually. I don't know, they're like really, really faded. 
just damage from sunlight basically. The Lion King. Cannot wait to watch this this month. Love that image. Such a cool image. And then I've got the spine. That one's a faded one too. And then the final one from batch three is Pocahontas. I can give or take this movie. The music's really good from it. And it looks visually stunning as well. I love Miko and Flit. They're really funny together. And then you've got the spine of that one as well. Two more batches to go, guys. Here we have the Hunchback of Notre Dame. There we are. Hercules. Really great music in this movie and Phil is hilarious, as is Hades. Mulan, we love a kick-ass princess. And Mushu is one of my favourite sidekicks of all time. Excited and nervous for this live action remake. I think it comes out next year. Tarzan. Music's great, different sort of story. I appreciate what they tried to do with this. One of those ones that I think adults like more than children. I think the same with Hunchback as well, to be honest. Fantasia 2000, again, I have not seen this one. Still in the cover. Does it tie in with Fantasia, by the way? Does anybody know? Please do let me know in the comments. Do I have to watch the first one before I watch this one? Is what I'm trying to ask, basically. Number 39, this bad boy is my second favourite Disney movie of all time. I love this movie so much. Completely underrated. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Yzma, Kronk, oh, they're just the best. It's so funny. The Emperor's New Groove. Atlantis. Again, a bit of a different story for Disney. I appreciate what they were trying to do. Oh, front cover matches. And so does the back one. I appreciate what they tried to do with this, but for me personally, it did not work. But I understand why people do enjoy this movie. Lilo and Stitch. I've seen this a few times, but apparently not from my own Blu-ray. Lilo is just like the complete depressive teenager in all of us, even though she's not even a teenager. And Stitch is adorable. But for me, the funniest character is Pleakley 100%. Adore Pleakley. Treasure Planet. I love this little dude here, Morph. Really cute. Doesn't speak, but he's still adorable. Oh, these covers match. And then we've got the backs matching as well. And then the spine. Brother Bear. Cute movie, cute movie. Got a couple of directed DVD sequels that I have not seen. There we go. Nice message with this movie though. Good message. Well done Disney. Good message with that one. Next up, one of the ones that is sort of slated by Disney fans is Home on the Range. I personally didn't mind it too much. It's a short movie. It's an hour and 16 minutes. These covers match. I, haven't, I have seen it, but not my own Blu-ray. And the backs match as well. And then the spine. The final 11 starts off with Chicken Little. There we go. This story was so bizarre to me, by the way. The whole random alien thing. So strange. The Wild is a Disney classic over here in the UK, but not in the States. You lucky, lucky people. It was tragic, and it wasn't even made by Disney. So why it's a Disney classic is beyond me. No idea. Meet the Robinsons was better than The Wild just about I liked um where is he ah this guy here the bowler hat dude he was funny it's that one bolt this had Miley Cyrus in it voicing the little girl where is she oh here she is here I really liked mittens mittens was cool and then you've got the back 
Ah, oh, back to princess movies. I love Tiana. As me and my friend Sam say, too much frog in this movie, but it's so good. The music's fantastic and it was the last 2D animated movie for Disney. Facilier, amazing, fantastic villain song with friends on the other side. 50, Tangled. Love Tangled. Love, love, love Rapunzel. And Maximus and Pascal, or just the whole cast really. Just a really, really great movie. Just great, just great. Really faded spine though from the sunlight. Wreck-It Ralph, number 51. Personally for me, eh, it's just okay. It's just okay. Runs a little bit long for me. Vanellope's a little annoying. You can feel free to argue with me in the comments about that down below. No, please don't argue. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> 52, Frozen. People sort of were like, oh, the Frozen hype train. I still really liked Frozen. It took me a few years after it actually came out to watch it. I don't go to the cinema that often. So I am sort of excited for Frozen 2. Will I go to the cinema to see it? Who knows? But yeah, Frozen. The songs are really good. And I really do enjoy Kristoff and Sven. Olaf is funny, but I'm not a major fan of Josh Gad, so. Big Hero 6 will hit you straight in the feels quite early on. If you've not seen it, I won't say how. And Baymax is absolutely adorable. Yep. Zootropolis. It looks really good. The story's a little bit different. But overall, for me, again, it just kind of didn't work, just like Wreck-It Ralph. And I know so many people that absolutely adored Zootropolis. I really liked him. Is it Klaus? The leopard? Yeah. And I didn't see the villain coming either, so that was quite good. And then the final one I have is Moana number 55. I loved Hey Hey. He is my spirit animal. <laughs> Completely. I haven't shown the back yet, have I? And that is numbers 1 to 55. That's what I own. Number 56, as I've said, is Ralph Breaks the Internet, which I will be sure to buy as soon as it comes out on... Well, it's already out on DVD and Blu-ray, but as soon as it comes out with a cover, it will be in my collection. And here they all are, guys. All laid out. I think they look amazing. I'll stand back so you can see them all. Well, that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed seeing the disney classics collection numbers 1 to 55 of course i do hope to own ralph breaks the internet very soon when they decide to release that shiny cover that goes along with it i loved flat laying them on the floor i think that they looked so cool it's all together it looked really really good anyways if you enjoyed this video it would of course mean the world if you would give it a big thumbs up for me Comment down below maybe what your favourite Disney classic is or something that you love to collect as well. And if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button to check out lots more content on my channel, whether it be Disney or the monthly vlogs that I do as well. Anyways, I've been Disney Matt. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.